Good morning and welcome to the channel. Today on the bench I have something quite modern. It's a Bluetooth speaker uh, made by a company called Intempo. Well, it's branded Intempo. That doesn't mean to say it was made by anybody other than some anonymous Chinese firm who rebadge anything you ask them to. So what have we got here? Well, it's a fake wooden box by the looks of it with only the top panel that's marked. Now I've taken the screws out, they're already out, and at the moment there doesn't seem to be any life in it at all. Now I would imagine in here we'll have a Bluetooth module, receive transmit module, we'll have a little amplifier, um, either one or two speakers, and we've got a, an auxiliary input so that we can plug stuff into it and play direct rather than use the Bluetooth. So I've got the screws out, let's have a look. Now it looks like it has suffered a little bit from water from something because this is rusty. This side of the board looks reasonable. These connectors have been abused, although there's some rust on what I assume to be a battery container. So let's see what's actually in there. There's one, there's two, right, okay. So it looks like we have 7.4 volts, 1500 milliamps, made in 2016. And if I turn over the board, we can see that there's definitely a fair amount of corrosion there. So I think the problem with this is water damage, dry joints and general general build quality to be quite honest. Let's strip this board out, resolder it and see how we can go from there. Okay, so we've got the board out and I've pulled those connectors out and I can see that there's a little bit more liquid damage on the top where it's hidden underneath this plastic. So I think we're going to have to strip the board out completely to clean it. And that's going to be fairly straightforward. But before I do any work on this at all, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to check the speakers. Now, what I've done is I've connected my signal generator, my audio signal generator, to these test probes. And I'm just going to poke them across each of these speaker wires and see if I've actually got working speakers because if I haven't we're we're flogging a dead horse. So that's one working. Let's see if this one's working. So we know that the the speakers themselves are working and there's nothing controversial in this box at all that really makes me worried. In fact, the box is designed so that you can't get into it. It's all glued together. So once, it, once it's assembled, it's a case of that's your lot. You've got no choice. So the first thing we're going to have to do is take the controls off the front and clean it up. There we go. Let's use a lever tool. And there we go. So let's just lever these off. And then all we have to do is undo the nuts. So let's just get the, the good old fashioned wrench. Now what's holding it? There's a little screw there holding it in. Uh, Phillips driver, that one should do the job. Yeah, so we've got some dirt here. We've obviously got the corrosion on these terminals. I'm going to try and take this glue away because this glue is horrible. Yeah, the bottom of the board looks absolutely abysmal. There is dirt, muck. And generally, it's a bit, a bit rank. That capacitor looks very suspect. So I might end up removing that one and replacing it. That one 
could do with sitting flat on the in fact they could all do with putting on the board properly but the first thing I'm going to look at is this surface mount capacitor it's this one here and uh, yes it is very small but I'm going to do one side first and see if that will clean it up and then go for the other side but it's not taking the solder because it's that it's that mucky so let's get some cotton buds and some alcohol and clean that off okay so let's just squirt the alcohol onto there clean off the board and see if we can remove the rust because I'm pretty sure that's what it is it's rust that's dripped down from somewhere else so let's pull that capacitor out as well it looks like I'm gonna to have to resolder the whole of this board on this side so let's get the solder sucker that capacitor there. There's the bottom of the capacitor, absolutely coated with gunk and rubbish. So let's bring you back down to the board. So I think I'm just going to replace them rather than mess around. So let's just clean the holes out from this side first. solder suck is empty actually it feels blocked and yeah looking under this side of the board there's corrosion muck so let's just clean that off Right, so that's all the soldering done. So let's see if a quick clean up with the alcohol. Back to get rid of any excess flux. I must say that was one of the hardest reflow jobs I've ever had to do because of the amount of uh, crap solder there was. It just won't take. And also, you know, the water damage also inhibits the way the solder flows properly. Because you're trying to solder on effectively rust in some cases and you have to scrape off the rust before it will uh, start to take. Right, so let me just check for solder bridges, which I don't think there are. Nope. No, nope, everything looks good. Okay, so we'll try powering it up again. And we've got the red LED coming on, which says that we've got charging. I don't know how well it's going to show up. And there's another problem. All I'm doing is I'm shorting out the switch. The switch itself seems to be faulty because water got in it. Now I'm getting the LED for the Bluetooth and it's pairing up quite nicely and it says it's active. So the minute I disconnect that, that should now drop out and say it's not connected, which it did which means we've got to look at this switch. Let's use the pointy lever and see if we can open up this switch like that. There's one side.
and there we go and if you look on the inside it's absolutely disgustingly filthy the rocker itself is covered in rust and gunk and disgustingness it's probably not worth fixing even though I could I could just replace it with a new one Right, it looks like the battery is dead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the pack and I'm going to see exactly what's in here. So a pair of 18650s, I should in theory be able to charge these independently in my battery charger and see if they'll recover. This is the protection circuit here so they should in theory be okay, but let us check properly. So there's only 3.6 volts across there and the protection circuit won't let it discharge any further. So I think what I'm gonna do so let's plug that in, make sure we are getting current to the board and there is charge going to the cells. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this overnight, see how it's charged up and then in the morning, because it's 4am now, when it's had a good few hours to charge, I shall see if we retain any charge in those cells or whether I've got to replace them with new ones. So we'll see you in a few hours but to you it will be like that. Just a click. Okay so here we are 12 hours later I've had a sleep. I haven't done my hair but I've had a sleep and yeah clothes change by magic. I've put the board back together and you may notice that this is not the switch that was originally in there. This one was. And even though we cleaned it out, it reverted to being a bag of crap. So rather than mess around, I just changed it for a new one. And if I turn it on, I don't know how well you can see it, but we're getting the blue flashing light. And it looks like it's connecting to my phone, no problem. And there we are, it's locked onto my phone. And that should be ready to play music. And all I need is the two sets of speaker wires. So here's one speaker. Let's just put that in there. And we need another speaker wire. Let's just put that in there. Now I'm hearing some noise out of the speaker. And it says we're connected. And if I go to my music player. And there we are controlling it with the phone. Uh, let's choose something else just to make sure that I'm not dreaming. So there we go, another fixed, what was thrown out as a piece of junk as not working is now a fixed working Bluetooth speaker. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.